Hey guys, Weather Expert here, bringing you guys our awesome video on the latest on Tropical Depression 11. It is becoming a little bit more interesting, as um, most of the models taken in the eastern seaboard, and I'm going to tell you guys why. <clears throat> so we're going to start with um, the visible, uh, the um, rainbow satellite of uh, TD11, and you guys can see the circulation. It's so well evident that you can see on the rainbow loop, it's right there, it's diving south. And the problem with this is, is that the mid-level center is start, is in the convection. That's where the mid-level center is always. And the low-level center, the circulation is starting to dive into there. Now when that happens, um, it can become vertically stacked, as they say, as we say. Um, when the low-level center, is kind of like a nuclei of, um, so when those things combine, it'll become one bigger thing. It'll become one big thing. I don't even know what I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> but yeah, so... At, so pretty much think of it as those things combined, it's going to become one big, large center. And if thunderstorms build on top of that, it can um, provide rapid intensification. Now the big problem is how much shear is um, how much shear is going on. Now you guys can see these uh, cirrus clouds right there are moving fast, and that's indicative of a lot of shear. And the system is trying to dive south to get away from that shear, but you know the si the system is still going to fight off some shear. We're going to be going on um, diving into this piece by piece, and we're going to be showing you guys some really awesome graphics that I think you guys will enjoy. So let's head on to um, the first off. We're going to show one of them. Actually, let's not show that yet. We're going to, we don't want to do that yet. Oh, spoiler alert. Oh, shoot. All right, we're going to look at the um, National Hurricane Center, and we're going to see the cone that they have for the um, TD-11. And you guys can see it's very interesting. Now, if you, of course, you're going to have to monitor this. You guys can see that the cone is um, including the eastern seaboard or the northeast. Now, the problem with this is, is how, will, the, will the trough that's going to be coming in be negatively tilted or will it be positively tilted? Positively tilted will shear, will shear the system cra like crap, and it'll take it out to sea and not affect anyone. But if it's negatively tilted, the, um, the winds can actually help ventilate the system and intensify it even better instead of shearing it, or it can actually shear it to death. But we don't know that yet. But it's right now the National Hurricane Center has a 50 mile per hour tropical storm, which is pretty conservative. I think it's pretty good right now. But of course, things can change, and we're going to be monitoring this very closely. I'm gonna, if you guys want to see a lot of updates, go to my weather expert weather. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this YouTube channel. I am enjoying it very well, and we've been growing subscribers really fast. Now we just got now this cone is very big because there's a lot of uncertainty because some models drive diving into the North Carolina coast like the European, some diving into Maryland, New Jersey. It can go anywhere in that area, so we're just going to be um, going to view one of our models. So here we go. Here's the H wharf, and this one is a worst case scenario, guys. Um, if you guys have already seen the video of my H wharf um, video. Um, a 30 second animation of the H wharf of the 12Z run, still showing the 18Z run. So you're six hours, a thousand and five millibars, and then as we get into nine, actually let's get over to about you know 39, 39 hours. Let's do that one because it's a nice place to stop. So here it is, 39 hours. We start seeing a tropical storm, a robust tropical storm starting to form. Um, it might be a, intensifying too fast, but it's still um, a long ways out, and things will change. So we get 57 hours out, and things start getting interesting. We start seeing a pink. And pink is indicative of hurricane force winds. So this thing, H for showing a Category One hurricane starting to develop. Even though it's 969 millibars, we have seen storms that go this low and have a pretty substantial impact on land. Now don't take this too seriously just yet. And we get we get to a 666 hours out, and we start seeing a big problem developing with um, A3 knots. It's almost a Category Two hurricane. That is pretty much a Category Two hurricane. So let's see. Seven eight hours out. Let's see what it says. I haven't looked at this yet. Um, let's scroll up and yeah, that's a big problem. Um, yeah, that's pretty. A thousand and five millibars. And North Carolina coast is just holy crap. It's still showing it, guys. And this looks very dangerous. If this thing were to happen, now I'm not saying it's going to happen, and very unlikely. About a five percent chance that this is going to happen. Drives in the New Jersey coast line as a category two or three system and it could become a very strong and dangerous system as a if I keep saying that it's going to it's not going to for five percent of the time we need to see model consistency we need some global model consistency and let's look at the shear map before we look at the overall view of the H wharf and we're gonna look at the GFS and see what it has to say. So look at the um looking at the wind shear tendency. You guys can see at the um here's a little area of low pressure. You guys can see there's some green and oranges which is indicative of twenty to thirty knot shear just in the north, and it's kind of increasing and kind of decreasing. Let's look at the, let's go back three hours, and let's see how much it's changed. So, um, we go out, we go four or three hours, and wait, let's see. Yeah, you can't see it, but it's, it's strengthened a little, it's actually weakened a little bit over around the system. 
Yeah, it's weakened a tiny bit around the system, but it's still kind of lurking to it. Now, this trough over here, this is a huge question on where it's going and how strong it will get. If the trough is negatively tilted, it will ventilate the system and head north into the northeast coast. There's going to be a system that's going to be coming along the northeast and producing a ton of rain. If this thing came through, this would be a major disaster of epic proportions. Now, this is going to be a, this is about a 2% chance that this is going to actually happen of a major disaster. Just keep in mind that it's October, guys. And don't hype anything up just yet. Just make sure to closely monitor. In 24 hours, we'll have a better understanding of the system. And we'll have a better understanding of where it's going to go, the intensity, and all those other factors. But right now, just look at it. Don't look at the h dwarf right now. But I just want to show you guys that just because it is October, we have seen storms like these before. We've seen strong systems in October. And people just think that we're at uh, two-thirds, so we're getting close to uh, ending it. So here is um, uh, Weather Bell's got great. Um, it, it's got a great overlay of all of it. So this, so here is the 12Z run. It doesn't have the 18Z run yet, but you can see that it heads it, it heads um, north, back down south, and then starts rapidly intensifying. These warm sea surface temperatures sits over here, starts rapidly intensifying into a Category 4 hurricane, and drives to the northeast coast. Don't say this yet, but guys, but the GFS is showing. Um, it's showing a tropical storm, just saying. It's just saying a tropical storm. Now, the big question is, here's a wind shear map, and you guys see the trough is back here. Um, a little bit of negatively tilted, but not too bad. If we go and do about, you know, um, here's, here, that's eight, eight, that's just 24 hours out right here. Right here, 24 hours, here's our system right here. The um, trough is still back here. There's a lot of wind shear indicative, but there is a ridge trying to build over it, which could help, um, you know, build thunderstorms and stuff. Of, why am I saying stuff? Um, I know this stuff. It's kind of funny right now, but I, I haven't looked. At the, I haven't looked at the um, new, um, wharf miles yet. And you guys can see that here is about um, about seventy two hours out or so. Let's see what it has to say. This is a very long video update. And I have to pack in a lot of information because I got school and stuff, and I have to do. I have to pack it in. Pretty nice. Um, so, yeah, that thing's not loading. So we're gonna go to name four kilometers. I haven't looked at this mile run yet, and yeah, let's see what it says. Um, here's 60 hours out, and let's see what it says. Oh, yep, I knew it would say that. Nam Wharf always comes in with these systems, and yes, yeah, it's no different. Showing a hurricane developing in the same region the h Wars having. So just saying that there's a 20% chance that this thing could start bombing out. There's an 80% chance that it might just get sheared up. But right now it's a 20%. Tomorrow we'll have a better understanding. If it continues, I'll continue with upgrading it to 50%, you know, as needed, but we just need to see mild trends and we need to see um, the pattern shit. But yeah, guys, that's really gonna wrap it up. Um, sorry for uh, making this so long. It's been like you know nine minutes or so, but I had to pack in a lot of information. Do not listen to people that are saying that this is going to happen. I'm simply just posting this stuff to warn the public. If this happens, then they can actually have a plan on where it might strike. But just saying, it's October. It's gonna be October soon. These things can. Uh, become very dangerous. Um, see storms, and I'm I'm always monitoring these October storms because they can get very strong and they can come very dangerous. But don't sit. But saying right now, I'm just saying there's a potential for a tropical system to come up, bring a lot of rain in the Northeast at least, maybe some minor coastal flooding if we see a tropical storm. But you guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Share it with the public if you can. Just um just link the video to them. Um, you guys can subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all.